Hello, this video is about face swabbing using automatic 11.11 and rule. For example, if we have a face of a woman here like uh, Megan Fox, for example, and we want to put her face in, instead of this woman's face, for instance, okay? This can be applied using automatic 11.11 and rule. First of all, uh, we need to install Rube into 11, Automatic 11.11. We would go to uh, the Rube uh, GitHub page. Now, in this page, we would go to installation section and follow instructions step by step. The instructions. First of all, we have to install Visual Studio. We would go to Community Edition. Okay, we would open. After it's done, we press yes, continue, now uh, this community edition we don't have to install everything for instance, for instance we don't have to install ASP.NET or, uh, or Azure etc we just need Python installation we just need uh, C++ we also need Visual Studio extension now, in many cases, many people have these extensions installed already, so we don't have to use this step, okay? Secondly, uh, after installation of uh, the Visual Studio, we have to run this command just as the instructions show, for example, like this. We press this command and proceed till the installation is complete. After this, we go to Automatic 11.11, which we start, for example, go to Extensions, we would go to available, load from. After we load the instru instru instructions, we can write rube here. We will get the extension here. Then we just press install and install this extension, which takes a few minutes or a few seconds, depending on, on your network speed. After that, we close automatic 11.11, then run it once again. Now, each time we run automatic 11.11, there will be some check for Rube requirements. There will be some installation. In the first time, the installation will take a few, uh, a few minutes, possibly, till it's complete. Once the installation is completed, we will go to text to image, for example, and we will see that we have a tab here called Rube, okay, which allows us to drag the face down here. So th this is about the installation process. Now, uh, to apply Rube, for example, we just need a face picture, that's all, okay? For example, we can generate a picture here like this, using this seed, or just drag a picture down here and replace the face immediately. Now, if we want to, to replace the generated image, the face of the generated image, we would go to, to the folder where we, ha where we have the face, for example, drag the face, then just press enable, that's it. We could choose good code formers or GFP GAN. GFP GAN usually gives slightly more smoother face restoration. So this is just about face restoration, nothing else. Okay. If the face is small, we can use upscaler and the set scale, scale to uh, two, for example, or something. This will allow to uh, upscale the, the, the face down here. Then we can press generate to see how the face of this woman is replaced. Now, the face, the face replacement is done after the image is generated using stable diffusion. So it is in the last step, okay? We see, for example, here, how this woman actually looks like Megan Fox. Okay, so uh, the original picture is slightly not so oval. Her face is not so oval. So it's best if the face of the woman is oval like Megan Fox as well, for example. If it's not oval, it still produces good results. However, not as perfect as if the shape of the face matches. Now, the use, the use cases of this uh, is that this method allows us to actually avoid using LoRa's inside our commands. So, because in many cases, the LoRa's do not produce good enough results. So, this, this method could actually produce better results than LoRa's if we want all our generations, for example, to have similar faces or the face of this person, for example, using a one picture. So we no longer need to train hundred, uh, different types of LoRa's or uh, characters or blend uh, different LoRa's that we do not need. So this reduces the reliance on LoRa's in some cases. In other cases, the LoRa could produce better results. But in general, this produces great results, actually. 
Now this uh, method could be used in image to image as well and in in paint in the same methodology. Now, if we want to replace an existing image face, for example, if we want to replace the face of an existing woman, we would drag the new image to this location in image to image. It's possible to interrogate the features of this image first before we apply the changes. Then we go down to group and drag our image that we want. Okay, so we want to put the face of Megan Fox instead of this face. We press enable. Make sure that either of these are checked. GFP GAN is usually better. So we would get the dimensions of this image. It's better to reduce the denoising level. Okay, let's put it to zero. So if we don't want to change the face at all, we can just put the denoising level down to zero. If, you, if it's okay to change the picture slightly, we can increase the denoising level. So look at the picture here we see that Megan's Fox face actually replaced the existing face. So this is how it works. Using InBaint is done in, a in the same way. We can use InBaint to InBaint the faces as well. So what's good about this method is that it can restore faces. So sometimes when we generate images using stable diffusion, the faces are not good. But when we use Rube, it actually restores the faces. Okay. It can be more practical than a LoRa, and we don't need to uh, add more LoRas to our prompt, which uh, do not mix uh, well together. The cons of this method is that sometimes the face shape must match the shape of the image. It works even if they don't match, but it's better if the if the shapes of the uh, if the face shape actually matches, which can produce better results. This is how it works in general. There are many other tricks in this uh, in this in this tool. For example, if we have more than one face in the image, it's possible to define which face we want to replace. For example, it's also possible to add another tab for Rube by going to Extensions. Okay, this is Extensions uh, folder, which is exists in Stable Diffusion Web UI folder. We just copy paste this folder like this and call it 2 for example then restart automatic 11.11 once again and we get two of these so in each one we can actually use one face and say that for example in the first face we want to replace this woman in the other face we want to replace for example that woman or another man or etc so it's possible to replace exactly which face you want in the picture so we are not limited to replacement of one face only uh, this is how it works in general. It's good uh, to experiment with the, with this tool, which is very, very interesting. Okay, uh, regarding choosing which face to replace, if we have a picture like this, for example, whether we generated uh, this picture using stable diffusion or not. Uh, for example, we see that in this picture, this face does not look uh, good, nor does this face. This is why Rube can actually replace the faces and fix them at the same time. Okay. So, for example, we have this uh, this woman, uh, Megan Fox. If we want to replace the first face, we would put zero, for example. Okay, so it will only replace the first face, like this. If we want to replace the second face, we would put one. If we had three th faces, and we want only to replace the third face, sorry, it's not enabled. The third face, it would be two. So the indexing starts from zero. Like I have said, we can actually use two ropes and replace uh, two uh, faces at the same time. We see that we have replaced the first face in this case where the index was zero. If we put the index equals to one, it will replace the second face. See, it has replaced the second face. If we want to replace the two faces, we would have to write all the faces that we want, which are zero and one, now it will replace the two faces at the same time. See, it has replaced the first face and the second face. Have a good day.